If this is the year that you're going to finally find your guy, find the love of your life, find someone who really makes you happy, then you need to change your tactic because what you've been doing hasn't been working. And you very well could have been following the rules, the dating rules, those rules that tell you that you have to play games, that you have to play hard to get, that you have to act like you really don't care. Well, you know what? Stop. Just be you. Be wholly and completely you. And if you like a guy, if you go on a great date, text him after. Say, I had such a great time with you. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing you again. And maybe mention something that you guys talked about. So if you guys talked about playing mini golf together, then in that text to say, I look forward to, to kicking your butt in mini golf. Something that's, that's fun and playful. Don't wait for him to text. You don't have to do that whole three-day rule. If he calls you on a Wednesday and wants to go out that night or the next night or, or Friday, say okay. Be spontaneous. You don't have to pretend that you're so busy and then sit home by yourself being miserable. If you're interested, act interested. Guys like chicks want to feel wanted. They want to feel needed. They want to feel sexy. So show them that they are. If you're playing hard to get, if you act like you have so many other dates and you really don't have time for him, you think that's going to make him feel good? It's not. He wants to feel like like you think he's just incredible. Touch his arm when you're out. Tell him he looks sexy. Do those little things that you would like. It's kind of like do unto others as you'd like them to do unto you. Same thing. Tell him how you feel. Don't be crazy about it because you also, you don't want a guy who's going to be psycho with you, right? You want a guy who's going to be just cool, makes you feel good. Well, you need to act the same way. So break the rules. You also have to change your whole type attitude. So if you have this type of, I only like tall, dark, and handsome, or I only like blonde and burly, or, or redhead and toned, Really? Is that really going to make you happy day in and day out dating someone who's just tall, dark, and handsome or just redhead and toned or blonde and and bulky? Really? Is that what's going to make you happy? It's not. Okay? Maybe for a little bit because you're going to enjoy looking at him, but long term, there's so much more than that. So what you need to start thinking about is how you want your relationship to make you feel. What you want your relationship to, to look like. Think about other couples whose relationships you like, who has components of a relationship that you'd like to emulate. Now, what are those things? When you look at that happy couple, what is it that you say, I wish I had that? It's probably not because he's just hot. It's probably because there are other things that make them such a great couple. So what are those? Now, write a list of those things, okay, of how you want to feel in your relationship, of what you want your relationship to look like, and then create a collage. I call it an intention board of words and images that remind you how you want your relationship to look and how you want to feel in that relationship. Now, before you go out on a date, or even just first thing in the morning, because you never know when you can meet your guy, you can meet him just at the grocery store. So before you go out, sit and look at that intention board and remember what it is that's important to you. What it is that you're really, really looking for. You also need to be secure in yourself, okay? If you don't believe that you deserve to be loved and happy, It's going to be really hard to convince a guy that you deserve to be loved and happy. Guys want to feel like they have the the best chick, like they have the ultimate catch, right? Well, if you're acting insecure, is he really going to feel like he has scored? Probably not. So you need to, to really digest that. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be with a great guy who's good to you and makes you laugh and smile and treats you well. You deserve that. And once you start to have that confidence, you're going to put out that energy and you're going to attract guys who are attracted to that confidence and who also have confidence themselves because you attract what you think you want. So you put out an energy of who you are and what you're looking for, and that is what you're going to end up getting. So be very careful what you put out there. Just like people say, be careful what you say, you just might get it. Be be careful what you wish for, you just might get it. Be careful what you put out there. Be careful what energy you put out there because you just might get it mirrored back to you. So this new year, 
Change your attitude. Stop playing the games, okay? Be enthusiastic about him if you are. Stop your whole typing with the guys and feel good about yourself. If you need to put up post-it notes that say, I deserve to be happy and loved, put them up. Sometimes we all need a little reminder. And then go out and feel good about yourself. Confidence, let me tell you, is very sexy. Not overconfidence, not snobby, but confidence. Showing a guy that you can take care of yourself, that you can, you can handle it. You're a tough chick, but you're also very sweet and sensitive and loving. It's balancing both. It's having that sweet, adoring attitude and also that, I'm okay. I feel, I feel good about myself. And you know what? If we don't work out, that's okay because there are a lot of other guys out there that will want me. Happy New Year. You will be happy. You will find love this year. And even if it's not finding love with a guy, you will find love with yourself if you just set that intention.